With your first news at 6 Sports, here's Luke Campbell. Central McLean Volleyball is making waves in Class B this season. They're currently ranked third in the state, having won six of their last seven matches. The Cougars are powered by seven seniors on this year's roster, but they've had plenty of help from a strong group of underclassmen. Central McLean's only losses this season have come against two other ranked teams. So as they hit the final third of the season, they are putting themselves in prime position for a state tournament run. Our practices are very upbeat and very go, go, go. Um, so they know we got to get out of one drill, get into the next drill. There's not a lot of downtime. Um, so when we, we, we preach lots and lots of effort. We had two seniors last year that we lost for our back row, which they were two pretty big assets for us. But these younger girls really stepped up and they're filling their shoes and they're doing really well. Well, Uberry soccer is setting the standard in the NSIC. The Marauders are 2-0 in the conference as they chase another run to the title game. The success has been sparked by a defensive effort that has seen four straight shutouts. In fact, the Marauders are outscoring opponents 12-2 this season, and they don't plan on slowing down anytime soon. I think this team, we have a lot of good defensive presence, but now that we're adding a couple new forwards, like we have a lot of momentum going up the field, but I think our biggest thing is that like we have a standard that we don't want to get scored on and we won't lose a game if we don't get scored on. So our whole like presence on the field is to definitely win the back line first and then as we as the game keeps going, start to move up and down the field. But definitely our defense is what like we want to perfect. Marauders are on the road in Minnesota this weekend with one game against Mankato, who is also unbeaten in conference play. Dickinson State sophomore and Bowman County grad Caleb Sarsland has earned NSAA Runner of the Week honors. Sarsland took second in Medora at the Blue Hawk Invitational in 26 minutes and 18 seconds in the 8K race. Well, it's hard to believe, but we are just over a week away out from the unofficial start to hockey season. UND opens its season with an exhibition next Saturday before the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame game on October 12th. And there's plenty of newness for this team with 11 newcomers, including three transfers. Head coach Brad Berry saying the depth of this team might be stronger than he's ever seen. And while we should be talking about the beginning of the season, the Hawks are already focused on the end of the year, hoping to add national trophy number nine to the case. Being at North Dakota, I feel like every year it's either national championship or bust and definitely being there's a little drought going on, we're definitely here. We talk about it every day. We're not just looking to win the conference. We're thinking about national championships. Everything we do is uh, to strive for that. We always say add to the tradition. You know, we've added to the tradition from a conference level. Now we want to do it on a national level. And uh, and again, you know, when we won in 2016, it was 16 years. And I remember the conversations. It was time, and it's time now. 90 degrees outside, and we're talking about hockey. Oh, it'll feel nice <laughs> inside there, that's for sure. We'll be right back after this.